Wanna go for a hike? <laughs> oh yeah, you wanna go for a hike? Oh bro, oh, give me those boots. Come on. Bring it here. Ooh, it's windy. Hey everybody, Don here again. Well, it's Friday. It's the last day of my furlough week. And I haven't been out turkey hunting once. I've had so much other stuff going on that I needed to do or that I wanted to do. Uh, turkey hunting was kind of low on the priority list. Last night I was fishing uh, from the new kayak. It was pretty windy, but I got in this back bay and I heard this turkey gobbling. It got me thinking, man, I gotta get out. So me and Tucker are going for a little hike. Again, it's another windy day. And uh, we're just gonna go for a hike in a piece of property I have permission to hunt on and uh, see if we can roust up a bird or two. And if I can find where some birds are, maybe tomorrow morning I'll, uh, I'll get out and do some turkey hunting. We'll see, weather has been so crazy around here. It's been windy, cold. This morning it was in the mid thirties, I guess. Uh, yesterday it was 28. So you just, you don't know what you're gonna get, but we'll give it a go. We'll just get out and get some exercise. You know, since this coronavirus thing has been, and we've been kind of on lockdown for two months, I think I've gained 10 pounds. Um, not going to the gym every morning like I had been, and that's killing me. And I just not getting out and getting enough exercise. So we're going to get some today. See you in a bit. That sounded terrible. Well, I brought the wrong call with me. This turkey call I got is not great. Um, I'm really uh, partial to uh, Quaker Boy's Old Boss Hen. It's nice and raspy, but it's got a good sound to it. This one is raspy, but I don't really like the sound. But as windy as it is, I don't think, you know, if the turkeys even hear it, they're going to be too particular. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to hear a, a, a turkey gobble back. But we're gonna, we came through that field, and everybody I've talked to has said that's got a bird so far this year. Said they were up in the hills, and uh, we're going up on this ridge, which has a lot of oak, and I know there's gonna be a lot of leftover acorns. So, uh, also, everybody that I talked to said when they opened up their birds, full of acorns from last year still. So, we're just gonna keep poking. I'm actually gonna keep my eyes on the ground looking for sheds. And, you know, looking to see if I can ever find a morel mushroom. I've never found morels here in New Hampshire. So, uh, but you never know. I mean, usually when I'm shed hunting, it's a little early. So it might be just about right now. I'll keep my eyes on the ground. Uh, I know a lot of guys find morels near old dead elm trees, but I couldn't tell you where the closest elm tree is here in New Hampshire. Maybe somewhere in the south part of the state, but we don't have elms here. Primarily oak, maple, beech for hardwoods, and then uh, pine, hemlock, spruce for softwoods. Birch, a lot of birch. Huh, what the heck? Keep your eyes on the ground and you never know what you're going to find. I always like to look at old rotten trees like this. Here's an old beach. Been torn apart probably by a bear. And uh, looking for ants and grubs and stuff. You can see it was filled with them. That's a pretty irregular occurrence. You find an old tree that's just been torn apart. That's definitely a bear looking for, looking for some grubs. Up here as well. Yep. Bear pawing that thing up, trying to find some little pieces of 
sustenance. Hard to think that an animal as big as a bear eats ants and grubs and stuff like that, but they sure do. Leave it, leave it. Pile of bear scat right there. Really cool looking maple burl on this tree up here. Boy, that's a big one. Oh, I would love to cut that off of that tree. Could make some excellent clocks out of that. That's a big burl on a maple tree. I'll bet it's beautiful. Cut a couple of slabs off of that. You see the uh, black walnut clock I made in our kitchen out of a uh, end piece of a burl. That's a big one. That is very cool. Too far to carry a chainsaw. So cool to find these old rock walls out in the woods. There's a good area up here. Killed a fine buck on Thanksgiving Day several years ago. Just down on this ridge. Found a real nice moose set up here several years ago as well. That's when we had a lot more moose in the area. So this is an area here, without giving you too much away. Maple tree, maple tree, big giant maple trees all through here. There's probably 20 or 30 big giant maples. I shot my buck up here on this ridge and called my old hunting partner, Franny. All I had to say was, I'm up in the maple orchard. And he knew exactly where I was. And he came up from down below with a sled and I was dragging the deer down. We met up and we were able to get it out of here pretty easy. But this old maple orchard, these old maple trees are old, old, old. You know, most of them are half dead, mostly dead. But for years, there was an old sugar shack in here it's long since gone. I think it was active like 60 or 70 years ago. And these trees are all 100 and probably 150 years old. Really cool old area. It holds a deer spot in my heart because I had tracked my deer from way down. Well, he was way down there, probably a mile when I picked up his track on Thanksgiving Day. And I just followed him, followed him, followed him, followed him. Jumped him up up here on the top. Was able to make a good shot. He went like 10 yards and dropped over dead. I name all my bucks. And that one I named the I missed Thanksgiving, but they still love me buck. And that was because I was supposed to go up to visit my in-laws. Karen and Jesse had left the day before and I was supposed to come up on Thanksgiving Day, but Thanksgiving Eve, we got six inches of fresh snow, and so I called him up and said, you guys still love me if I go deer hunting instead of coming up for Thanksgiving, of course. What's not to love? Put venison in the freezer. <laughs> yeah, this spot here holds a special place in my heart. 
really cool old spot. Well, it's been a good hike. I uh, took us around a big loop up on this ridge up to the old farm up there. And uh, we were hoping maybe we'd find a morel. Nope. Shed antler? Nope. Here a turkey gobble? Nope. But we did have great exercise and had some good companionship with my dog. I just realized I ate the last Slim Jim, but I've got a few snacks for the pup. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Yeah, watch my fingers. Can you balance this one on your nose? Leave it, leave it, leave it. Oh, you almost had it. <laughs> Good pup.